Evening guys, and uh, a little break away from the um, transfer window, all the doom and gloom and speculation uh, and all that one. Uh, the draw for the uh, uh, fifth round of the FA Cup has just been made um, for the last six, in the last 16. And uh, we've got a home tie, fantastic. And we've been drawn at home to Hull City. So uh, I'm really, really buzzing with that. That's absolutely superb, fantastic. Um, it's good that we've got a home tie, and of course, um, I, I fully expect us to progress and uh, and go on to the to the last eight in the quarterfinals. Let's have a look at the rest of the draw. Then I took the liberty of um, writing it all down. Uh, Sheffield Wednesday, uh, they'll play Notts County or Swansea. Uh, I kind of fancy Sheffield Wednesday um, to get through that one. Uh, you know, just be nice actually to see Wednesday. It's been a long time since they've, um, you know, sort of been up there and got their names up. They were a big club years ago, really, really were, like, you know. Uh, West Bromwich Albion versus Southampton, an all premiership tie there. Of course, West Brom in the last round knocked out Liverpool. <laughs> Superb. Uh, obviously, ourselves against Hull City, fantastic. Really happy with that. Uh, Leicester City versus Sheffield United. Well, I mean, you've got the two Sheffield clubs in the United and Wednesday, but I, I fancy uh, Leicester to get through on that one, on, especially on their, their home, uh, the home ground. Uh, Huddersfield Town or Birmingham City against Manchester United. Wow. Um, Huddersfield, as we know, I think, I think they beat United earlier on in the season. And uh, you know that'll be a tough, tough, tough old place to go. That will you know for for uh, Jason Mourinho and Manchester United. So uh, not an easy one now. And here's one for the Met Police. I bet they're already organising this one. <laughs> Obviously, there's a lot of either ors on it, but it could come off. Um, repeat of last season, but of course it's uh, at Millwall's ground. It's Millwall or Rochdale will take on Newport County or Tottenham Hotspur. Now, you'd have to fancy Spurs in the return. And, uh, obviously, if uh, Millwall are victorious against Rochdale, uh, that, I, I imagine, will be an absolute nightmare uh, for the Met. Uh, Brighton versus Coventry. Coventry, as we know, were knocked out MK Dons in the last round. Brighton with a home tie there. Um, I think you'd have to fancy Brighton. And uh, a repeat of the 2013 Cup Final, Wigan versus Manchester City. Uh, again, you'd have to fancy City. So um, out of that lot, I would imagine I'm going to go for the final eight, being um, Sheffield Wednesday, because I said them. Um, I'm going to go for West Brom to beat Southampton. Obviously, Chelsea to win against Hull City. So it's Sheffield Wednesday, West Brom, Chelsea, uh, Leicester City, I think, will beat Sheffield United. So that'd be Leicester. I'm going to go for United just to nick it. I just think they will. And uh, you got a fancy Spurs, whoever they get there, Millwall or Rochdale. Brighton, fancy them for that. And Man City. So by the looks of it, the final eight, I think, will be Man City, Brighton, Spurs. United, Man United, Leicester, Chelsea, West Brom, and I'm going to go for Sheffield Wednesday. So it's going to be quite, um, you know, still a lot of big names, a lot of good names still left in that. We certainly need to land that FA Cup. We haven't won it for a while. But uh, let us know what you think about that then, guys. Uh, a little bit of good news then, after all this crap that's going on with regards to the transfer window. We've drawn a home tie for the fifth round of the FA Cup and we play none other than Hull City. Leave your comments down below. Thanks for watching Chelsea's W6 and if you're watching it for the first time, please press the subscribe button. I hope you enjoyed the programme. Don't forget to subscribe to Chelsea SW6 and if you're interested, please take a look at my website. That's www.paulcannivalfoundation.com Hey, look forward to seeing you at the bridge. Catch up.